Your YouTube content lately has been so fun to watch. Yeah, thanks, Harris. Yeah, the uh, the video today that the, the video of the Lakota game, people are that the views on that are going insane. Like people are really enjoying that, which is really good to see because I can't remember the last time I posted anything Lakota related. Um, because it's just it's just such a rare sieve. It's such a rare sieve. Um, so I'm really glad that um, I'm just really glad we have got players that do crazy builds like that. Like. There's one thing that this game is like, one of the game reasons that this game is the, just the fucking best RTS ever is because, you know, there's just, there's just an infinite amount of builds you can do. And, and you know, you can argue that there's, there's no, there's no bad build. You know, there is, but there, there's also not, if you know what I mean. Be right back. Watching Dakota. You're a handsome man. Of course you have a lot of Sims. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's not my face that they're looking at. Hey, yo. All right, we've got... Let's talk about this game right now. So what we've got... Um, a, a, another favorite map of mine, Punjab. Do you like this map? Uh, we've got Big Jerry. He's picked up four water buffalo. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, he's also picked up 70 wood. He's going to be thrilled with that. Likewise, Kais has picked up 20 coin, 20 XP. 100 food. It's a great Spain map. Just because you got, you do have some of these nice big chunke. Wait a minute, what just happened? What just happened? Was he planning on doing like a twelve ten or something? And then, and then he got that big uh, wood treasure, and then decided not to. Don't know. A little bit confused there. Uh, going to be picking up 60 coin. What's Keister going to see? He's not going to be able to pick up this, but 190 coin. That's definitely what he wants to be iron. If you're Germany, right, I would take a couple of pop shots. Uh, maybe just one pop shot, actually. And um, I would be eyeing that up when my two Ulons arrive. Uh, but taking 70 wood, that's going to be fantastic. So both these guys are going to want to get a TP in transition. Let's have a look at Keister, which I presume this is Keister. I presume this is Keister. I think Keister, I think Keister heard, he took my compliments to heart. Because when we saw him against um, Kaiser Klein, um, he played out of this world. And um, yeah, he. I was like, right, when he needs to play this civilization more. Like the potential with that micro he had. Like if you, I mean, beating Kaiser Klein's Otto, like that's just... Bruh. I know Germany sort of counter Otto, but still. Okay, both of them heading towards the TP line. If Jerry is smart, he will um, try and find the TPs. Yet yeah, he's searching for them with his dog. Just to be like super annoying, as annoying as possible. He doesn't see it just yet, but no doubt. Caster is almost there. He's going to see the dog, so he's going to be able to micro it. But that dog is still going to be super annoying. Yeah, look at that. Boom. And the question is, he's either going to have to deal with it, or he he, he runs the risk of losing it. Yeah, look. He, look! And that's just that's the power of Spain in this matchup. Just the fact he has that doggo. Yeah, look. Forced again. To, to send a settler wagon all the way down there to build it. Really, really nice play there. Yeah, going to lose his dog. But, you know, for, for having something for free, look at the damage he caused there. Look at the damage he just caused there. He's actually going to miss this round of XP as well. So that is huge. That is unbelievably huge. Slowed him down massively. It's cost... Countless seconds, about 30 seconds or so of Settler Wagon um, production there. So absolutely insane play there by Jerry. Jerry playing age two again. We saw him do this against the uh, Revnax USA and almost pulled it off. Almost pulled it off. Got a little bit of jittery lags, so we'll leave it for the moment. People talking about the Opti Sui magic, and uh, I got can't lie that the Opti magic is special. So, 
Jerry's build. Let's have a quick gander. So he's gone three bills, 700 wood. He did go for a hunting dog start. No capitalism. Five rods first, first batch. Yeah, okay, still traps coming in. Where are those Wadaleras running to? What do you see here? Okay, probably worried about something, but... Oh, damn, and we got a rack start as well from Keister. And my mouse is uh, spazzing out, which is not good. Stable going down with that 200 wood, uh, 700 wood, sorry. Keister does see the Wadaleros. The pikes are diving in towards the TP. You don't expect, you just don't ever expect this from, ooh, trying to do some really raging. Yeah, you, you, you would just never, ever expect this. He could have done a massive big brain there and used that Grove Rickshaw to do some, um... oh, he's going to lose one though. Okay. And just look at the, look how annoying just two Oolons is. Even this Grove Rickshaw came in at the perfect time. Because it was soaking up damage from the TC. So he had to manually change that. Rodolares are going to clean up the pikes though, which is nice. Oh, nice Rodolares shipment as well. I mean, you might as well at that point kill the uh, Grove Rickshaw. <laughs> rather than just leave it to have line of sight. <laughs> so trolly. So, uh, yeah, we just got Rodolares at the moment. Uh, he's been kept locked up inside his TC though. So he's not really been able to produce much. Um... What were we going to see? Okay, so he's already shipped five villagers. So he went 700 wood, five villagers, seven rotted arrows, 700 gold. I believe 700 gold will help pay for the hazards. Again, two Oolons just being super annoying. The Grove Rickshaw sees everything. Look at this. Look, watch this. Look at the line of sight that this has. Like, you can just see where all the weak ones are as well. Okay, that's a, that's a scary mass of rotted arrows, though. Pikeman, okay. Pikeman going to get mauled. Very nice. Minutemen getting called. Is that an early Minutemen? Yeah, I mean, at that point, you just, just take them out, right? Nice villager pool, though, because that's going to be super annoying. It's always super annoying for Rodoleros. Any melee unit always gets very, very difficult to micro if you can't attack move effectively. These guys being a pain in the ass. Oh, he's going to pick up a weak one. Oh, oh, oh. Almost got the other. Almost got a second one there. That was super tight. Keister on the ball there. Jerry wanted to get out nice and quickly. School's out, but not quickly enough. Keister just about made it to get to the age up now. Nice delay, though, by Jerry. De did delay this age up. So, interesting game right now. We've got H2... H2 Spain versus kind of a Pike Semi. Okay, gonna do just a load more. Yeah, keep him locked inside the TC. It's gonna take a lot of TC fire though. That does take its toll. Let's have a look at what Jerry's doing. Uh, he's uh, He is committed right now to the H2. Which is a nice villager placement up there. Always very good for defensive purposes to run a villager to the tops of the map if you're getting rushed. Um, just because that villager can be used to build um, houses and things like that. Just in case you get pop capped uh, and all your houses get sieged down here. That barracks is looking pretty tasty. And uh, unfortunately, that stable, uh, unfortunately for Jerry, uh, fortunately for Keister, is going to get just about get built. But can he make anything from it? What's his first shipment? The first shipment is going to be three war wagons. Uh, he's, got, he's got a nice batch of Rodoleras coming in, which is not what he wants to see. Hazars are out. He can make two by the looks. He's going to be able to get two skirmishers. Oh, but is the skirmisher going to come out? No, the pirate takes it down. Beautiful timing there. Now it's just Rodoleras. Run, run, run. Get those Usain bolts on. Pikeman going to go for the for the trap as well. Go on, Pikeman. Get in there, lads. Let's go. H2 Pikeman versus War Wagons. You love to see it. More rods coming in. And those three War Wagons, bye-bye. Very, very nice cleanup there. No skirmishes got caught. Came out as well. So 
No extra damage to the Rodoleros. Now the Pikemen want to go on that stable ASAP. War Wagon's forced to go on berries. Where are those Pikemen? Oh, he's decided to stay for the TP. I'm not sure I like that idea. I understand it, but is that TP going to be worth it at taking it down at this point over this stable right now? Nah, he has to prioritize the stable 100%. Skirmishes are going to get popped, but... Oh, there is only... Oh, yeah, you get them extra free Oolons. I keep forgetting about that. But the Rodolero is going to make quick work of it. TC Fire is targeting these Hazars. And rightly so. Look at that. The Hazar going to snare them. Then the Rodolero is going to smother them. Good night. The Rodolero they don't have bonuses, but, you know, they just have a solid melee attack. So um, it's going to take a while for them to get taken down. And actually, the Skirmishers might be able to kill them. One war wagon comes in, but it's going to be enough. Does hit hard. Hits that with that 42 attack. And now this is why you wanted the pikemen in here. If the pikemen, if the pikemen were in here, this stable would have gone down. Could have done more damage to these things as well. Takes down a house. Pikemen are still alive. But he's going to run away with them at this point. I don't see any reinforcements coming from Jerry. So when I look over, I hope to see an H3 coming in. Yes, we do. So Jerry likes this uh, sort of semi, not, not even semi effort at this point. I mean, that's definitely a, a strong rush and then likes to go into age three. Doesn't doesn't over commit, doesn't over commit here. But maybe he could have over committed here because if five more Huss and five more Jans were coming in right now, um, I don't think there's a lot Germany could do. I don't think there's a lot they could do. They are running out of their shipment curve. One more shipment coming in. I think that's going to be Black Riders. And uh, Jerry wants to be careful about making any hazards. Thank you, natural moves, for the follow. These are going to be some unnatural moves from the Black Riders right now. Okay, so not a lot going on for Germany. I mean, he's shipping these Black Riders. He has to repair everything now. He has to get his infrastructure back. There was a lot of houses that got taken down. And that's going to take cost some villager seconds on wood. He needs at least three houses, 300 wood, to be able to start producing stuff. He's on 23 vills, uh, slap plus another seven war wagons. So he's basically on 30 vills now. God damn, Germany were a good sieve, aren't they? Uh, but 30 vills compared to 33. So super close eco-wise. We do have um, no place of mines, but we do have still traps. I imagine we have place of mines and still traps done for Germany. We do. Uh, and even Gangsaw. So eco's very, very close right now. What Lairas might catch a villager up here if he's uh, paying attention. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? No, Jerry. So Jerry placed this mango grove right in front of this silver mine. And that was massive because he couldn't see the villager that was there, but he could see the silver mine. And you could see that little health bar that the silver mine was going down. So he knew that there must be something mining there. Jerry with the... Utter big brain there. The Mango Grove placement. That was huge. Very, very nice play there. By Jerry. Ages up with the crossbows. That's going to be nice versus the Black Riders. Just extra bit of uh, attack versus them. They do have a uh, melee resist. So anything ranged does very well versus them. Um, I think he might have seen the Black Riders there. I'm not sure if he did or not. But, but deciding to go Skirm Goon anyway, which is definitely the right play here. 1K Wood coming in. He likes it. We saw this last time. So we saw 1K Wood uh, possibly into Marvelous Year, possibly into Spanish Gold. Um, we'll see what he decides to do here. Okay. Oh, nice raid going on. But the Pikeman, perfect placement for those Pikeman. left them down there and just as well any every single black rider that goes down now is a super good trade for jerry whittling down that resource really really nice brings back his explorer maybe got a little bit worried there for a second and jerry is 3k score up with the age two spanish rush jerry Careful, Jerry, or someone might accuse you of a meta builder. And just like that, Keister calls it. He sees the score. He knows there's not a lot he can produce right now. 
to contest against this, and he calls GG. Could have been very different if those pipemen weren't there, but they were. So, keeps himself back in the game. Very, very nice play by Kaiser there. We have some... Uh, are we going to see uh, some more H2 play by Spain? It almost worked versus Revnak, by the way. That very, very almost worked um, against Revnak's, um, against Revnak's USA. So, um, yeah, nice, interesting stuff by Jerry there, going for the H2 Spanish play.